Mishra, uh, Assistant Professor Biotechnology Department from Biani Girls College. Today is here to discuss phenolics, which are the plant secondary metabolites. In our previous video lecture about the plant secondary metabolites, we discussed what are the plant secondary metabolites and how they are different from primary metabolites. We discussed what are the different types of plant secondary metabolites. There are four types of plant secondary metabolites. Um, uh, they are terpenes, phenolics, alkaloids and glycosides. In our previous video lecture, we discussed what are the types of uh, secondary metabolites and we discussed the terpenes. We discussed the basic structure of terpenes, we discussed the biosynthesis of terpenes and we discussed about the function and properties and uses of the terpenes in our previous video lecture. In this video lecture, we will discuss the phenolics, which is the second type of the plant secondary metabolites. In our upcoming video lectures, we will discuss other type of plant secondary metabolites. So, what are phenolics? Phenolics are a type of plant secondary metabolites which are derived from the phenol group. They contain the phenol group. Actually, uh, they contain, they are the plant secondary metabolites and we, in our previous video lecture, we discussed that plant secondary metabolites are derived from the primary metabolites. Here, phenolics are derived from the aromatic amino acids like phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. And these phenolics contain benzene ring and hydroxyl substituent groups and they are known for their antioxidant property. The antioxidant property depend on the amount of benzene ring and phenol OH uh, substituent groups in them. Okay. So, according to the presence of OH group and phenol groups as uh, benzene ring substituents present in them, they have their antioxidant property whether it is more or less. Now, we will discuss, first we will discuss biosynthesis of the phenolics. Actually, phenolics are synthesized by any of the two pathways that are the chemic acid pathway or acetyl that the second is the malonic acid pathway. In the first pathway which is known as the chemic acid pathway, erythrose 4 phosphate which is a primary metabolite and which is the intermediate of pentose phosphate pathway combines with phosphoenol pyruvate which is a glycolysis pathway intermediate. These are the primary metabolites. They combine in the presence of enzyme PAL. What is PAL? PAL is phenylalanine ammonia lyase. The phenylalanine ammonia lyase by the process of deamination produces transcinamic acid. Transcinamic acid is the simplest phenolic substance. This is a simplest substance which is which will give rise to the simple phenolics. This simple phenolics will further polymerize and by their polymers complex phenolics are produced. The plant secondary metabolites phenolics are also synthesized by the second pathway known as malonic acid pathway. In malonic acid pathway, acetyl coenzyme A which is a precursor molecule is converted to the simple phenolics is converted to the cinnamic acid to produce the simple phenolics and these simple phenolics then polymerize to form the complex phenolic. any group of colleges, yes, where you can trust. Now, we will discuss the different classes of phenolics. The different classes of phenolics are coumarins, lignins, flavonoids and tannins. The first class is coumarins. Coumarins act as antimicrobial agent and germination inhibitor in plants. It acts against the microbes which infect the plant and it also acts as germination inhibitor so as to reduce the germination as per the requirement of the plant. Now, second class is the lignin. Lignin is found in abundant quantity in the secondary cell wall of the cells. Okay. 
Now, second as it is present in the secondary cell wall, so it is responsible for the rigidity of the cell wall. So, basically it provides mechanical support to the plant. The next class is the flavonoids and the flavonoids is the largest class of phenolics. This largest class of phenolics can be further subdivided into anthocyanins, flavones and flavanols. Now, anthocyanin is a pigment which is responsible for the red blue color of the fruits, vegetables, grains produced by the plants and they are rich in antioxidants. Okay. Now, it is a naturally present pigment which is responsible for the red blue color. Okay. Now, next class next is the flavones and flavones is basically present and it is present in the major quantity in red purple fruits and vegetables. It is also present mainly in the spices and it is also responsible for the antioxidant property of the plant products. Okay. The next class is flavanols. Flavanols is a flavanols are the colorless molecules and they accumulate in the aerial and outer tissues of the plant and they are colorless molecules. These are the three classes of the phenol phenolics and the fourth class is the tannins. Tannins are the basically water soluble, soluble plant polyphenols. These water soluble plant polyphenols are toxic, they, are, they act as toxin. So, generally herbivores avoid to eat those plant parts which are rich in tannins because the, those plant parts will be toxic to the herbivores. So, they are they provide defense against the plant feeders, they provide defense against the herbivores and so they are also known as feeding repellents, they are also called as feeding repellents and they are found in major quantity in high quantity in unripened fruits. In unripened fruits, they are uh, the tannins are present in major quantities. So herbivores avoid to eat these unripened fruits because these unripened fruits are toxic to the herbivores. So again, it is acting as a defense. Uh, it is providing defense property to the plant. Now these are the different classes, the major classes of the phenolics. Now because of these different classes of the phenolics. These the basic functions which are performed by the phenolics in the plant are they are uh, the defense against the herbivores and the pathogens because they are antimicrobial. So, they are pro providing defense against the pathogen, they are toxins. So, they are providing defense against the pathogen and because they are toxic, so they are also providing defense against the grazing animals, herbivores to the plant. So, they are protecting the plants against the predators. Now, the second property is to provide the mechanical support. The mechanical support is provided by the phenolics because they provide rigidity and resistance because they are present in abundant quantity in the secondary cell wall. So, the second function which is performed by the phenolics is to provide the mechanical support to the plant. The next function is to attract the pollinators. They are uh, these phenolics are present in all plants okay? and these are present in all plants because they are necessary for attracting the pollinators and pollination is necessary for further propagation of the plants. So, they attract the pollinators as well as the flu fruit dispensers so that seeds can be dispersed. Okay? Now, the next function which is performed by the plant secondary metabolites is to provide protection to the plant against harmful UV radiation. It has been shown that they absorb in the UV region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, to absorb the UV radiation is another function of the phenolics. Okay. The next function which is performed by phenolics is to reduce the growth of nearby competing plants. They are, to, they, are uh, they are they provide toxins, they create secrete toxins, they are toxic for the competing plants and for their survival it is necessary to compete them from their nearby plants. So, it is also again uh, supporting the growth of the plant. These are all the functions performed by the phenolics and these are the different classes of the phenolics. Phenolics are actually the phytochemicals which are produced by the plant 
and these phytochemicals are well known for their antioxidant property. If they are, uh, cons if the fruits and vegetables, grains, spices which contain rich quantity of phenols are consumed by human being, they can reduce the cases of chronic diseases as well as they can reduce the aging. They, uh, they also provide the anti-aging properties. So, these phytochemicals can be used as immune boosters, they can be used as tonics, they can be used to synthesize the medicines for their medicinal properties. So, this is all about the phenolics, this is the, uh, we have discussed the basic structure of phenolics, we have discussed the biosynthesis of phenolics, what are the different classes of phenolics and what are the different functions of the phenolics. I hope you have understood what are phenolics. In our upcoming video lecture, we will discuss alkaloids and glycosides. Thanks for watching my video. Keep watching gurukp.com. Please like, subscribe and comment on my video.